Hello friends, Pushkar here, back again with another video. In this video, I will solve a lead code medium complexity problem. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today's problem is maximum sum circular subarray. So you are given a circular integer array nums of length n and you have to return the maximum possible sum of a non-empty subarray of nums. Okay, a circular array means the end of the array connects to the beginning of the array. So for example, in this um, example one, you are given an array of integers 1, minus 2, 3 and minus 2 and your maximum sum uh, circular subarray will be 3. Okay. And in case of example 2, you can have your sub uh, circular subarray as 5 and then the beginning of 5. So the total will be uh, 10. Let's see. Let me tell you why. So you are given an array 5, minus 3 and 5. So basically your circular subarray could be this one and this one okay because your end is connected to your start okay so in this case your answer will be 10 and in example 3 when your array contains all the numbers as negative then your answer will be the maximum of all the numbers that is minus 2 so suppose we have an array like this okay so we have let's say n elements in the array let assume that your answer contains both the start of the array and the end of the array. That means this element. Okay. So your possible answer could be either some part of this and some part of this. Okay. So to, 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 to get the answer and how you can maximize this. So to maximize this part plus this part. Okay. To maximize the end part and this start part. What you, get, you need to do is you need to minimize the middle part. Okay. So, so basically somehow if you get the total of all the total of all total sum of all the element and you get the minimum minimum sub array minimum sub array with excluding the start and end. Okay. Basically minimum sub array in the middle. Okay. minimum sub array then then you get your answer you how you can get your answer you can get your answer by total minus minimum sub array so basically this is your answer or there could be a scenario where the start and end both are not 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 possible Okay, basically your answer uh, doesn't contain start and end. So your answer will be will lie only in the middle part. Okay, so in that case, your answer will be uh, the maximum sub array. Okay, and how you can get the maximum sub array, you can get the maximum sub array by using the cadence algorithm. Okay. And to get the minimum sub array, you can also use cadence algorithm by changing the sign of all the integers. So basically changing the positive numbers to negative and negative numbers to positive. Then again, the same cadence algorithm will give you the minimum sub array. Okay. And then you can uh, check uh, whether the total minus minimum sub array. Okay. So either the maximum of your the sub array or the maximum of circular sub array your answer okay so let's start the implementation part so first let's uh, so first let's create a method called cadence okay that gives the maximum sum sub array in an array so int let's create it public int cadence algorithm That will take nums. And int it will take a max. Max as num 0. And also the current max as num 0. And start our loop from 1. And it goes to nums dot length i plus plus and your current max is equals to math dot max of 
करेंट मैक्स प्लस नम्स आई और नम्स आई एंड योर मैक्स विल बी मैथ डॉट मैक्स ऑफ मैक्स और मैक्स ओके सो दिस विल गिव द मैक्सिमम सम सब एरे सो इंट मैक्स सम सब एरे इक्वल्स टू कडेंसल गॉर द नम्स ओके एंड द टोटल सम इज इक्वल्स टू एरे इज डॉट स्ट्रीम नम्स डॉट सम so this will gives the sum of all the numbers so now let's find the minimum sum sub array so to find the min sum sub array we'll use again cadence algorithm but here we'll pass uh, the by change see here the pass uh, the the nums array but changing the uh, sign of each element basically positive to negative negative to positive so to change that we'll use arrays dot stream nums now let's map each element to its negative dot to array okay so basically first it will convert all the positive number to negative negative to positive and then pass it to cadence and cadence will give you the maximum so here it will internally becomes the minimum sub array so now your answer will be you can return um if your max sub sub array is greater than 0 then first of all if it is less than 0 then it will be the uh, maximum sub array and if it is greater than 0 then either either the max sum sub array or the total plus min sub sub array okay why i am doing the plus because it's minimum okay the sign is changed so minus minus becomes positive okay so now let's run the uh, the code and in this case the answer should be 10 and here we get the answer as 10 so now let's submit this to the lead code let's copy this and let's go to the lead code so let's dry run the code and check whether the sample test cases are passing or not so the sample test cases has passed now let's submit this so yeah as you can see the code has uh, passed all the test cases and code has been accepted so yeah this is what in this video i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel i will keep solving lead code medium complexity problems and posting their videos on youtube till then take care